we are actually putting the media on the hook with all of this attention. Is it too much too soon for Monet Davis? I think this is the world we live in, and I love the way she's handled herself. Uh, now, I don't know a lot about her background, uh, but I know one thing. Uh, I've always said this about character. Character like good soups made it home. And whoever she's surrounded with, uh, who's brought her up, they've done a great job with her. Uh, I'm going to make sure my daughters watch her tonight. I, you know, I got two little girls. I just like the way she's handled the whole deal. Uh, she's about playing baseball. She's about being an athlete. She's about just having fun. And um, she's put on this stage. She's been on, I mean, you imagine on SI cover. Right. <laughs> That's pretty big. Years old, yeah. and, and, you know, and this is where we live in, though. We, we live in a media driven world. There's always a story out there. Uh, I think it's good for Little League Baseball, obviously. Yeah. Uh, it's good for women's sport. Sure. That they're talking about her, and rightly so. It's, it's not a, like an act. She's done it. She's actually gone out there and competed. I love the way she competes, so I think she's handling it pretty well. Too much too soon. Not necessarily. Uh, you know, I, I don't think so. I, I just think, you know, she's putting a spot. She's not asking for this, okay? She's, she's not asking for the interview. She's just she's playing baseball. When she, when she started playing baseball, she never imagined this. She just, I'm going to play baseball, and I'm going to have fun to it. It's hard enough just being a woman trying to play baseball or a little girl like her playing baseball, I mean, fastball pitching, <laughs> that alone takes, takes a lot of discipline and a lot of mental toughness to do that. Yeah. All right, Stephen A. <laughs> she has done nothing wrong. As far as I'm concerned, she can do no wrong because <laughs> she's 13. And I've been consistently on this tip throughout my career, and I'm going to say it again. I hate it. I hate the attention that she's getting. I don't like it one bit. I don't care that she's a girl. I don't care if it's a girl or a boy. I don't believe anybody 13 years of age should be in this, put in this kind of spotlight. I don't like it. Now, obviously, that sounds uh, a bit awry considering the fact that I work for the worldwide leader and whatever. Worldwide leader does what it wants to do. It doesn't need my approval. And just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it's wrong. I'm just saying I don't like it because she's 13 years old. If he, if she was a he and it was 13 years old, I would have a problem with that. Has, it's not a gender issue with me. What it's an issue with me is I'm not talking about the attention as it pertains to her exploits on the field. I'm talking about the interviews. I'm talking about the questions. Yep. I don't like that. As far as I'm concerned, she should play. You got the cameras on her playing. And when she's finished playing, she should be finished playing. I don't think anything, all of this attention, the sit down, the one-on-one -on -one interviews, her turning down interview requests and all of this other stuff, I can't stand it. Because what's going to happen is, is that nobody continuously rises. There are, there are peaks and valleys in life. It's, it's mandated. It's automatic. No one escapes it. It doesn't discriminate is all of that stuff is going to happen. But what's going to happen then? Camera's going to be right on her. People going to want to talk to her, et cetera, et cetera. And she's going to handle it based on what we've seen. Her poise is extraordinary. We understand it, and I'm sure she'll do a fantastic job. I just hate the fact that she's going to have to be in the position when that happens. What if she goes out there and gets smacked around yeah. in, in terms of giving up 10 runs? You know what I'm saying? Or no, giving up three home runs and stuff like that. Yeah. What if she breaks down and cries because they lost the game that she was pitching or what have you? We're going to have that microscopic camera right on her. And I'm saying, for me... That's inevitable because you're on the field of play. But it's an entirely different matter when then you got to show up at a press conference and answer mm -hmm. questions like you're an adult and you're not. And I hate the fact that she's in that position. I understand it. I agree with you, coach. I hear where y'all are coming from, but I detest it. When I watch this, can I call her young lady? Will that work? Yes, yeah, I she's think that's a young appropriate. lady. Because yeah. I, I don't like girls. Yeah, she's 13. She, she's, she's a young lady. Yeah, she's a young lady. When I watch this young lady speak in the interviews that she said in the New York Times piece are wearing her out because mm -hmm. she's getting so many requests, she is 13 going on 25 mm -hmm. to me. I'm just astounded. I, I'm mesmerized watching her because she handles the questions so deftly with a sense of humor and a sense of perspective that I promise you I did not have at age 13 as I was entering the eighth grade, because that's what she's about to enter. She's two months after her 13th birthday. Now, back to the, to the point, and you make some very profound points that you have always made, not just about Monet, but about this whole televising of the Little League World Series, because that Pierce Jones that we watched again last night from mm -hmm. Chicago, 
he, he is really gifted for his age, and he handles himself very well for his age. And the, and the Vegas has got a slugger who's been a, like a rock yep. star, treated like a rock star. So I think back, and I compare it to entertainment that we've watched happen. I watched Tatum O'Neill. You remember Tatum yep. O'Neill? When Best Supporting Actress at age 10, uh -oh. I, I saw Anna Paquin, now more famous for True Blood, sure. win Best Supporting Actress at age 11 for the piano. They, they went on, you can argue what, how they did in their lives, but, but you know, it's, it's a lot it's, it's to handle. And then I look at, at, at other forms of entertainment. Michael Jackson, when they first burst on the scene as a Jackson 5, he was 11 years old when they had their first hit. We've seen what's happened to Justin Bieber. You can do the good and the bad. Was it too much too soon for all those? I, I, I don't know. Maybe. But in this case, I'm going to do the worst case scenario. Let's, say, let's take Monet. Let, let's say that at age 16 and 17, she just becomes a pretty good high school player. Let's say she can't realize her dream of getting to go to UConn and play for Geno and play point guard. Let's just say she's just another pretty good player. She still has this. Mm -hmm. and, and I would rather her have this than not have it. it unless you tell me it's going to destroy her when, when the lights go away. Will go away. When, when nobody wants to talk to her anymore but, at 17 and 18. But, okay, that's, that would be the downside. <laughs>